Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got some more land for you. This one I'm calling Dunkin' Donuts. I think a Dunkin' Donuts goes on this land. i got all this beautiful land. we got to find a way to pay for it, right? And uh, so if you're looking for some land to live on, you should start with some of these commercial properties, build, some, build, a, build a machine to pay the bills. <laughs> and so this is one of those machines that people are building to pay the bills. Let's take a look at this thing. You could use the money that comes off of this to buy some land to build a house on. Let's take a look. Jump into realvacantland.com. Luke Smith, phone number's up here. You can call me and ask questions. You can get to this website by clicking the description in the video. In the, in the, in, there's a link in the description of the video that'll take you back to my website. So I'm asking $119,000 for this one. It's 1.76 acres, 1.76 acres. And it's a, it's a triangle shape though. So it's not as usable as like a one and three quarter acre square. You know, if it was a square, you could fit more stuff on here. But we still got a good chunk in the front. The front is a little over 200 feet wide. There's a driveway, you can get into it. There's part of a, there's already a cement pad there that you could build on or use as parking. And then uh, this stuff back here starts getting too skinny to really use. So you're just gonna use the fat chunk up here. So looking at the size and formation of this property, I think a smaller building fits on here with parking and drive through pretty well. And so a smaller building, I'm thinking um, Dunkin', because Dunkin', Dunkin' Donuts kinds of shops are being built really fast all over the place because they're highly economic. And let's take a look at them. I mean, this makes me want to build one of these things. Okay, so here's the maps. We're in Lenore County, North Carolina. There's a gas station to one side. There's a restaurant on the other side. Um, there's Advanced Auto is like two doors up. I think this one's advanced auto. This looks like their blueprints of their shops, the way they do their parking and stuff. And um, yeah, there's a McDonald's across the street and I think it's Taco Bell. I think that's a Taco Bell. I think this one's McDonald's. I think it's Taco Bell. I might be wrong. So we got big names happening. You know, McDonald's stamps out a location. They do their research. Like here's the traffic. And so the traffic on this road, I think, is what really counts for this property. Why do you want to build here is because of the traffic. If we zoom out a little bit, there's a college. This is a university. I don't know what the name of it is. But they put traffic on the road, and I bet you they buy coffee. And to get to Starbucks, you got to go like, you know, so here's the university. Starbucks is got to keep reaching, reaching. Starbucks is like in that group over here. And so we're down here closer to the university, and we got... Uh, 20 over 25,000 cars a day going by in front of this property. Let's zoom out. Let's show you where we're at. 25,000 cars a day. So here's the town Kinston and um, uh, so here's Raleigh. Here's Fayetteville. So we're in between we're in between the coast and uh, Raleigh and Fayetteville of North Carolina. Raleigh's over here or sorry Raleigh's over here. Fayetteville's over here properties over here. That's where we're at. Um, let's jump out of this map and let's look at, uh, so I pulled up, um, okay, so here's our property is over here, right? So we're over here and I searched for coffee. Like where do you get coffee around here? And uh, what one of the things that comes up is an old Dunkin' Donuts. There's an old Dunkin' Donuts. I'm like, oh no, so there's already a Dunkin' Donuts in the area. And it's, but it says permanently closed. I'd start researching it and it was like a little add on to the gas station and it didn't make it. It just didn't make it. That one didn't make it. So they're like, Luke, why would I build a Dunkin' Donuts if that one didn't make it? Well, look at the traffic on this one. I pulled it up. So let's see. I thought I had it on the screen. And um, so the other, yeah, Speedway here is where it was. And we're doing, um, traffic and it was uh um like it, it, and when it comes down here eight eighty eight hundred cars a day so eighty eight hundred cars a day come through where the one didn't work and ours has two has twenty five thousand five hundred it's not hiding in the back of a speedway this is gonna be like a standalone operation so luke what is that worth so i went into crexy and i started searching all the dunkin donuts they're just built like oh, i want a brand new one because we got land somebody's going to put a brand new dunkin donuts on there what are those trading for how much are they worth right and i'm trying to find them that fit the, the all the numbers to, to this property so i can get as close as i could as a comp i found this one this one's a bit bigger than i was thinking 
but that's like a Baskin Robbins, Dunkin' Donuts freestanding kind of location. They're asking $2.3 million for it. They think they, they got it leased out for $106,000 a year. They can rent that building out. They're selling it for $628 a square foot. And in this area, this one is more like a $250 a square foot kind of area to build in. Don't quote me hard on that number, but just from my research, this is what I'm finding on the basics of, of statistics of what they're building these things for. So they're selling for $625. They're building for $250. There's a bunch of room for air in there, right? Maybe I'm not exactly right, but there's room for air. And then... They did a uh, 3,747 square foot building. That's a lot more of a building than I want to, uh, than my ideal. And our, our property is kind of skinny. Maybe that doesn't fit, but this one's got a place to sit and you can buy your ice cream and all kinds of stuff. This is like the full on spread. I like the basic ones, but the traffic on this one, there, so the traffic, I pulled up the traffic on this one. This is what I was looking at. And this was one of the most, most expensive standalone Dunkin' Donuts I could find. It's got Baskin Robbins in there. Maybe that's why it's more expensive. They got so it's it's uh, right here, and it, it's eight thousand eighteen thousand nine hundred cars a day. So the most expensive standalone Dunkin' Donuts on the market that I could find right now, they got eighteen thousand nine hundred cars a day going by in front of their Dunkin' Donuts. In my location, we got 25,500 cars a day. That's like, that's a lot more business, right? <laughs> I like that. So we're, we're on to something here. I'm getting excited. So then I, I found, a I want the little ones because we got, I want a little one, right? I don't want to build a big building. I'm just a little guy and I want to build a little building. I want to keep it simple. And it's just a little old me, you know? And so I found this one. This one's a little bit cheaper. They're selling this for 1.9 million instead of the 2.3 for the bigger sucker. This one's 1.9. And at this square footage, this is a 900 square foot Dunkin' Donuts. That's a little, that's a, it's like an apartment or something. 900 square foot Dunkin' Donuts. That doesn't have a whole bunch of room to eat cakes and have birthday parties and stuff like that other Dunkin' Donuts with the Baskin Robbins mixed in. This is just a Dunkin' Donuts. And so they're renting this one out for $89,000 a year. And that's a, that's a, the, the kind of lease that they're doing on here is Dunkin' Donuts pays everything. They do the maintenance, they pay the taxes, the insurance, they, they pay all the bills. And so after all the bills are paid, you get $89,000 a year if you built, own this thing. This was yours, right? That's what the numbers are. And so they are selling this thing. They're asking, it hasn't sold yet. Maybe it's overpriced, you know, but it, the, they think they got a good shot at it. Um, uh, $2,126 a square foot. Let's call it $2,000 a square foot. By the time they get the numbers to work and sell, they're probably selling them for $2,000 a square foot. And in this area, we're talking about $250 a square foot to build. I like that math, right? That's a, that's, there's a bunch of room for error. So if we take $2,000 a square foot on the sale price and $250 a square foot on the build, there's, there's, what is that? 17, seven, $1,750 a square foot profits. Yeah. You got to buy the land. You got to pay me for the land. And there's probably something else you got to do in between there. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of room to make money. No wonder if Dunkin' Donuts is one of the fastest growing franchise, you know, businesses that's happening out there. They're just like doo -doo -doo -doo, people building them out all over the place. Right. Um, so I looked up this Dunkin' Donuts. I found the location. I did some other software. I found the location on Maple Avenue right here. So I pulled up the traffic and I pulled up, okay, what kind of traffic are we talking about with this 900 square foot Dunkin' Donuts that they're trying to sell for over $2,000 a square foot? And uh, we got 16,000 cars a day on that one. 16,000 cars a day. And they're doing a 900 foot uh, Dunkin' Donuts. You guys remember how much traffic we got on the one I got up for sale? <laughs> 25,500 cars. That's like, it's not double, you know, we're not double these guys, but we're a lot more. We're like, you know, 60, 80, I can't do the math on the fly, 75% more traffic or something than these guys. That should be a lot more business. It should be a lot more uh, donuts and coffee and everything else so you get to sell them. Whatever's on the menu, you know sell it to them right <laughs> just if they're driving by you can have the signs out there and they've heard of the name and they'll stop somebody will stop it's how many and the profit of above and beyond the um 
the rent is up to whoever you lease it to. But if they believe in this traffic and they go look at the traffic numbers, they ought to be calculating higher that they can make off of this thing and they should be able to pay more rent. Either you get to charge more rent or they get a lot to make more money as a business and have a lot more room for error to always pay the rent and never risk not being able to pay the rent, right? So there's the lineup on this property. Let's go back to realvacantland.com. I've got this thing up for sale, $119,000. There's a buy now button that you put down 500 bucks and check out, um, you know, say, let's go do the paperwork and make it happen. But um, we've got, a, we've got uh, a real estate um, agent here that can do the paperwork and make it happen and uh, an attorney that can close it and pull it all off. Um, so there's the property. This is in Kinston, in Kinston, part of North Carolina. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith bringing you some more commercial vacant land. See you in the next one. Bye.